timing, uh, the difference between keyframes okay, and um, uh, in between us, I hold the distance between the, the keyframes uh, allow us to uh, affect the speed of the, the movement. So uh, I invite you to, to have a look uh, at this information. What we are going to do now is to focus on animating a character. So what I suggested is to use any of these references to construct between 8 and 12. Okay, you see that on the first, uh, uh, on the slides here, between 8 and 12 frames, then we'll be able to, to play them as a loop. So, uh, in order to show you how to work with After Effects, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to use one of these uh, examples. Uh, I'm going to construct the, the animation from there. Okay. So new composition. Then I'm going to work with uh, uh, a standard 90, 20, 10, 80. Okay. Okay. So have this uh, animation here prepared. Okay. So now we are going to use one of these references I told you. Uh, you have to do this with your own uh, work. Okay, if you can. So uh, it doesn't really matter if we draw the thing, so we work with uh, puppet bricks. It's going to be the same. It's going to be using references as a way of calculating or adopting the best um, uh, the best posing and then customizing that to your character design to our own character design or um, uh, yeah our own character okay whatever it is an old man it is uh, you know a young uh, uh, person or whatever okay so for doing that I just save the thing okay I'm going to use the Photoshop So here's the Photoshop. We see the uh, whole uh, spectrum. Okay, so the the floor must be around there. Okay, so we are going to use this as a reference. Okay. Okay. So now. Uh, we have to separate these and then we have to align them in a way that can be read as an animation. So, assuming this one is well, uh, probably I'm going to uh, add some filter in order to make this to be a little more sharpen. Okay, so uh, sharpen more. Okay, so it's a little more crispy, so I think it's better. Then I'm going to clean this, so selecting everything, delete, so we have everything clean. So pay attention to the different gaps here, here, and here. Okay, uh, this is a, in your own design. What you have to do is just go here and check everything is finished well okay another comment is that we are working with um, uh, with not very good quality drawings and, and, and collecting in this case I'm, I'm using as a reference something from internet you are not doing that you are doing with your own draws so if you um, scan this to a minimum resolution of 300 you should be fine okay so they have to treat the image to adjust, for example, the levels. Okay. So you go to the levels. Okay. 
to make more clear, more dark, or whatever your your composition, you it will work better. Okay. So then, how we can? Uh, well, we are going to separate them. Okay. Two. Okay. Go to the background again. The Okay. Always selecting yeah. Okay. Okay. Whenever you do that, oh you can delay this. Okay. So you have here the result. I'm going to save this working cycle. Okay. Create it. A new one by selecting the first one. Uh, copy. New. Okay. Size of the clipboard. That. I'm going to do this a little bigger because it's not going to be always the same size. So, okay. Uh, this should be fine. So, this is the layer one. Okay. So, layer two. Uh, I'm going to put it here. So, how, how can we do it? So, they are. Similar what reference we can do and the thing is the only reference you can have is the flow Okay, so uh, for having the flow uh, Because you you see that there is a an up and down so you want to Okay to be more or less like that Okay, and then the three one Okay. And again, it's the flow, the reference. So what you can do is create a here a reference. Okay. Maybe coming more close. Okay. And then adjusting that to the reference. So this this is the flow that will help you. Okay, so layer four. Okay, okay, layer three. Okay, you see, I'm also using this as a reference, so I'm trying to stick everything on the same uh, parameter okay so three four so three, five okay seven six sorry okay, okay. so we have all these save that okay and this is the proper cycle okay save that Cycle as PSD without merging the layers. So now we can go to the Photoshop uh, After Effects. Sorry, and we import that cycle. Very important here. Uh, we cannot merge them. We have to import that as a composition. Okay, so not this. This one. Okay, composition. Okay, so we have here, and what do we have? This is our animation. See, as I say, this is not a very good quality. Uh, okay, so all layers are here. We don't need this background. Okay, so this one. In fact, you can delete that. It's not deleting that from the background. Okay, 
so composition if you want to see this better probably it's it may be a good idea to change temporarily the background okay so now we can adjust every well first of all i would order this this one two three four five that is ordered then later move this to two frames okay so it's going to be displayed by two frames and then i can can order them so this is the six this is the five this is six seven eight and and this is what we want so this will be the animation okay so you can tweak it a little you can modify whatever but supposedly this is more or less what we want so the thing is once the the cycle is working well we can modify this relatively easy okay pre-compose okay and then well this this animation is going to be until here now but then you can uh, you can modify the timing of the animation time okay enable time time stretch okay another way is doing this through columns uh, duration or stretch so stretch they makes that faster or uh, slower whatever okay that is maybe that seems to work a little better on 20 frames okay so this is uh, the result you can save that okay and that's it okay um oh yeah yeah well this maybe you want to add a background okay so now you can change this again the here the composition so select this one okay so this is uh, the background and here I'm going to make this to be bigger okay so I can import the background here I selected this one for example okay so this is one is a city have this one here and the character here yeah. so we we make and uh, we may need to to move the background so this is the way we are going to move this okay and uh, here the first position is there second position would be something like that This might be uh, slightly fast, so maybe better to, to, to move less space during that. So what about this one? Okay, maybe slightly, uh, slightly fast. So let's see if now, or maybe it's a little better. So that way, uh